Welcome back. Odenidhi Stalin, the 45-year-old son of Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, MK Stalin, has been elevated to the post of the Deputy Chief Minister in the state. This decision marks an important moment in the ongoing leadership consolidation within the ruling DMK. For one, it solidifies Udayanadi's growing influence within the party and the government. His ascendance to Deputy Chief Minister's position also comes as he continues to attract national attention. Remember earlier this year, he sparked a controversy with his remarks about Sanatan Dharm, arguing that it should be eradicated as it perpetuates the caste system and opposes the idea of social justice. The DMK is firmly behind him. They say he is not a political novice and as sports minister, he put Tamil Nadu on the international map with tournaments from the Chess Olympia to tennis and hockey events. But the BJP and the AIA DMK maintain that his elevation is nothing more than nepotism and dynasty politics above the interests of the state. Now, Udayanadi Stalin is only following in his father's footsteps who was elevated in a similar manner. So the question remains, is this purely a booster for dynasty politics in the state, something that the state is used to? Or is this a calculated move ahead of the 2026 Assembly elections? This is more of a responsibility than a post. So I'll definitely try to give my best for the people of Tamil Nadu. Definitely there will be a criticism only. Uh, not everybody will be appreciative of you. I will definitely have to prove it, prove it only by my work. See, this is uh, one more example. They are proving uh, the dynasty politics. They are thinking only for the uh, family. These khandani siyasat and virasat wali partiyan, in kahi bhi talash karengi, dhundengi, to bahut dur ka bhi, bahut nazdik ka bhi koi vakti hoga, to wo khandani siyasat aur virasat wala hi hoga. First thing is that he is accepted by the whole party and senior leaders. So he was made the deputy this year. There is nothing wrong in it. And the, the BJP cannot accuse him. Let's open this up. Tom Vadakar, national spokesperson of the BJP, joins us. Sayed Hafizullah, spokesperson of the DMK. Sanjay Rana, political analyst, is with us as well. Let me begin by asking the spokesperson of the DMK. The criticism that you face today is also because of how quickly uh, Mr. Odenidhi Stalin has uh, risen up the ranks or the ladder. Up until six years ago, he hadn't shown any interest in being part of politics at all. From there to being the deputy chief minister of the state, is it only because he's the son of MK Stalin? Before answering to you, I just want to answer a lot of allegations that are made by the BJP leaders. They are talking about nepotism. Is that only a problem when BJP is uh, elevating someone from the family? You don't have a problem with Nara Lokesh being the minister in Chandra Babu's cabinet. You don't have a problem with HD Kumarasamy, who is a, who's a product of nepotism. His son Nikhil Kumarasamy is actively an MLA. His uh, brother's son uh, Ravana is an MP who you campaign for. And very many leaders in Tamil Nadu who you, according to your logic, are products of nepotism, you have come and campaign. You have absolute no problem with them. But when in an internal democracy of the party, where there is a body which decides on such vital matters, have decided to elevate my youth wing leader as the deputy chief minister of a party, you have a problem. If the people who are in the alliance with you do the same thing, it is absolutely fine. That is uh, that is the best example of democracy. When it happens in party who are opposing you, they become product of nepotism. You have Chirak Paswan there, you don't say anything about him. So all this is convenient for you. Coming to my party, see... My leader had always been a part of politics. He has campaigned 20, 25 years ago for my leaders. So that time his situation was different. Then he came into cinema. He became popular and he became one of the most known face. Any party for that matter wants to attract youth. And we see my youth wing leader as an icon who can attract youth into the party. So that is why this elevation has come up. And you, you don't, you ju you're just behind elevation of uh, youth wing leader. There are other first-time people who have gone minister, who've got ministry. You don't see that. 
you have we have given first time MLA from Dalit community, one of the highest portfolios. Mm. Well, first time in this cabinet, there are four Dalit ministers. Mm. You don't want to see all that. You just want to pick which will suit your agenda and try to make politics out of it. Then there is a problem that with the BJP and not with the DMK. Tom Vadakan, this just reeks of hypocrisy of the BJP is the allegation against you that Udayridi Stalin is not a man or not a leader without merit and that should be seen. Credit should be given where it's due. Ponam, it's very interesting to hear the DMK spokesman's desire to paint his uh, party in, in glorifying it format. Now, let me tell him one thing, that this is not, it is not a, you know, rocket science or an astrologer that is required to predict uh, Stalin's future course of action. He's probably, if they win, I repeat, he's probably heading to become the chief minister. He's the grandson of Karnanidhi. From Karnanidhi, he moves on to Stalin. And Stalin takes his name after Joseph Stalin, the Soviet leader. And uh, there are some reports that uh, Udenath Stalin was a member of the SFI. Be what it may, whichever membership he takes and comes out in public, we have no problem. Now, as to the question of DMK uh, trying to plan for the year next elections, I think there's an admission. The admission is that they are trying to attract the youth. Now, this misconceived concept that they have, that the youth will be attracted by, uh, by somebody who's come out on nepotism, don't insult the Tamilian voters. When you have somebody who comes on from the back door to become deputy chief minister and then followed to become the chief minister. What I, is the back door? But why do you say no, Tom Vodakan is the back door? Mr. Hafizullah, no, Mr. Hafizullah let him, let him, let him, let him speak, please. He didn't interrupt speak. you. No, Mr. Hafizullah, let him. I'll come, I'll come, I'll come back to you. I'll give you your time to rebut. I will, I will give you your time to rebut. You made certain allegations against the BJP. Let the BJP also have their say, please. No, but he's not answering to the allegations. He has not told, spoken about H.D. Kumarasamy. Sure. Well, you should I have this but he is responding to the allegation that you said of hypocrisy. He is saying it's not hypocrisy at all, that there is no merit. Where is the merit? Where is the merit? But, okay. okay, Mr. Hafizullah, let, let's not do this, please. I'll come back to you. That you have aligned with the Congress party where anarchy exists and an accepted fact. So the bonding has become thick. But yes, the people of Tamil Nadu will react. The youth is disappointed because they do not accept nepotism. So the reality will dawn when DMK goes to the polls. But why do you say there is no merit at all, Tom Vadakan? As far as electorally is concerned, he's proved himself. The last time he contested elections, Udayan so Stalin won by almost 70% uh, vote share. He's been through the campaign as far as the assembly elections in 2021 were concerned. And he's consistently been there as far as uh, a state minister is also concerned. So why do you think there's no well, merit at all? Just because, just because he's the son I'm of the ask, chief minister, I'm, does that I'm mean... I'm asking about the people of Tamil Nadu. Hmm. These are people from IIT uh, Chennai. They are people from Bellur Medical College. These are youth who are, who are aspirants, hmm. who expect something in life. Hmm. And here's this backroom entry of a film star... Uh, and an actor, the youth will come around. Come on, give give me a break. Tamil, but then if, Tamil if that is, is if that is the criticism, then the voters the of Tamil Nadu will decide that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but coming back to the allegation that Mr. Hafizullah was making, that the BJP and its alliance partners have also seen its fair share of uh, rise of dinners in the party. Why no noise then? I mean, there's the the line of um, uh, the. Uh, Ascendance is very clear. You have Karnanidhi, you have Stalin, and now you have the sun. This, this is not happening anywhere. Hmm. You, a sun may come into politics. Merit is accepted. We accept merit. Whether it is our allied partners or whatever, if they have merit, they are welcome. But this kind of backdoor entry, you know, is, uh, is not acceptable in, in civil society, in democratic practices. If you want to convert Tamil Nadu into a monarchy, sorry, that is not acceptable to the people of Tamil Nadu. Okay, Mr. Hafizullah, 30 seconds for you to rebut before I get in the third panelist oh, as well. No, no, but I, as far I as... I as... condemn this word. 
no i absolutely condemn this word called back door entry mm. where many people in your cabinet from nirmala sita raman to the foreign minister jay shankar who haven't contested election so it is a back door entry that's very common in the bjp mm. but here we have a leader who has contested an election who has been a minister it is very ridiculous to say it's a back door entry it's, it's too quick to which democracy. is why these questions are being raised I mean, the same model no, was no, followed no, when no, Mr. No, Karunanidhi was the chief no, no, minister, no, no, and no, M.K. Stalin no, was no, made no, the no, deputy no, chief minister. But it took no, no, over no. a decade or more for that to happen, where M.K. Stalin did no, prove that, himself. No, no, no. That This rise is too quick, which is why party. questions are being asked. That, the criticism. that has to be that has to be decided within my party. He is telling that see, in a democracy, you need support of the people. You don't have to be from Bangalore Medical College or the IIT. Hmm. It doesn't matter. We have an IIT who then. IAM from your place has contested two election and people have rejected him. Hmm. So for winning people, you don't need big academia, but you have to be with the people and to understand emotions of the people, which my youth leader has done. That hmm. is why he has won. That is why his campaign is getting traction. Hmm. So you do not uh, estimate or you do not respect the voice and the mandate of the people. You say youth have rejected already in 2019. he campaign people were with him they gave him 38 seats in 2021 he campaign people gave majority to the dmk government in 2024 he campaign people got connected with the voice and the emotions of what udayana had to say so you can sit in the studio and say that youth are not connected you know what is happening in the bjp people are going away from bjp in tamil nadu so please introspect what is happening in your closet and not to come and comment about the emotion of tamil nadu and the intellect of the people of tamil nadu and people in the end it's up to the voters of tamil nadu whether it's monarchy or whether it's merit they will decide yeah, yeah. but sanjay so, rana speaking they of they decided Sure. Said that that is why BJP sure. Is and two years BJP later, there is an, sure. And two years later, there is another election that's going to come around. So, Sanjay let's Rana, see. are let's we see. going to be seeing a battle of young Turks, so to say? We have Vijay's entry. We have Udayanidhi Stalin, who perhaps is going to be the face of the DMK two years later when that election happens. And then we also have another young Turk helm, at the helm of affairs in the BJP, Mr. Anamalai. Is this the new generation of politicians that we are now seeing that would be the faces of the 2026 election? Uh, good evening, Pune, Pune, and good evening to our fellow panelists. It is not surprising for me when people, uh, when people talk uh, about the nepotism. If you look at any uh, family-run parties, these kind of things are well expected. Whether it's a DMK, whether it's a Samajwadi, whether it's a RJD, whether it's a Congress, it's well, it's, it's absolutely well accepted. Is going to happen. But when people talk about the democracy in the party, then I feel like to laugh because democracy in the party. do you have uh, had any kind of election within a party do you think is 45 year old uh, young gentleman who's become a deputy chief minister and congratulate him but he is the only one there was no young uh, young face in the party who can lead the party do you think this is, is possible no because they do not have any merit except they are coming from a special a special family background if you look at the merit of stalin whether you look at merit of tejeshwar yadav whether you look at the merit of rahul yadav what the merit uh, rahul gandhi what the merit they have one is 54 year old another is 45 year old do you think there is no young generation is there in, in dmk there are so many intelligent people are there including the spokesperson of uh, dmk i believe that is the most capable and intelligent than the than the son of stalin but he will not become a deputy chief minister because he is coming from the normal family that when you have a tag line behind you then you become a special person and you become a deputy chief minister tomorrow you will become a chief minister if you want to contest any election across india just a ml election you have to invest at least 10 years in the politics to 15 years politics to get the corporate ticket forget about the ml ticket after ml ticket how you become a chief minister forget it is to 30 40 years story that there is that's a difference it, 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 that's a problem with the indian uh, you know family run politics this is called a family run politics and i don't know i'm absolutely uh, i'm not uh, supporting bjp bjp should not question these kind of people these people will do this activity because they believe everything is the family family is the god and the whatever the god will say the party will follow and the people of tamil nadu or people of india uh, those those where this dynasty politics is going will follow it but this Please kind of politics is not new to the state of tamil nadu and it has been rewarded in the past as well no, if so if that's the only concern i don't think that's something that no, perhaps voters really care about
Yeah, absolutely, uh, Poonam, I agree with you. It's nothing new in the Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu always see two film stars, obviously, Karunan Ji Saab and Jalilika Di. Apart from that, there's no uh, other politician I have seen those who are seasonal politics. Hmm. So if you want to be seasonal politics, then you need to take the politics, uh, you know, take a politics as a carrier. But these people are not taking a politics as a carrier. They come up. Obviously, given given in a spoon. Obviously, the golden spoon they give somebody's uh, you know uh, serve them in platter. So that's they're enjoying the life. But as far as the politics concern for development of the state is concerned, these people are not at all bothered about. When people talk about the youth and democracy, when they talk about intelligence, they talk about the degree. I have a big question mark. All the uh, mm. family politicians they have a degree. I fail to understand what kind of degree. I'm not talking about a piece of paper as sure. a degree. Talking about the degree which which has where people feel like to treat you as a leader. Mm. Do you think people of Tamil Nadu? Well, time will tell whether people actually have faith in this kind of uh, politics. Whether it's the merit that people see, the voters of Tamil Nadu see, or is the uh, monarchy tag that the BJP and the AIA DMK have leveled against the uh, DMK that sticks. Well, uh, two years later, we are going to be seeing elections in the state and the voters will decide. Two years is also the time for Mr. Udayanidhi Stalin to prove his mettle and perhaps silence his critics with the work he does or does not do. But I have to leave it at that. I